right, I want to go over a strategy that I uh, learned from Greg Michalowski. He's FXDD Vice President and Chief Currency and Trading Analyst. He also has a book out called Attacking Currency Trends. You can find the book at attackingcurrencytrends.com. The strategy is using moving averages. It's using two moving averages. Um, I'm going to be using a 100 bar moving average and a 200 bar moving average. I'm using simple moving averages. The blue is my 100 and the green is my 200. Um, basically, if price is above your 100, it's showing you that the market is uh, bullish, the bullish bias. And if it's below, it's showing you that you got a bearish bias. And your 200 confirms that it's bullish or bias. So what we do here, we're looking at this tra trend here. We've been up in an uptrend for a little while. And now price breaks this 100 bar moving average. We want to put a trade in to go short. Okay, your risk is going to be a little above your 100 bar moving average. But the way I really trade it myself, I go to your next level of support and resistance, which is if you look right at the 100 bar moving average, that was where the level of support and resistance was. So as you can see, the 100 bar moving average holds weight when it comes to holding support and resistance. But I would move up to my next level of support and resistance and you find that level right here. So I will put my stop in right there. Now, it all depends what you can risk to put in, you know, for your uh, your money management. But right here, you're risking this is a 55 pip risk. And if that's too much for you, you know, you just have to decide if you should even get in a trade or where your risk should be. You could put your stop, like we say, about 10 pips, 10, 20 pips above the 100. And then you know that if it comes back against you that you were wrong. So basically, if you were wrong, you get out. The market's not doing what you expected it to do, so you get out of the trade. Okay, but we're looking here. We break this 100 bar moving average, and when we broke the 100 bar moving average, that was our trigger. We got in, we put our stop loss in, and then basically we hit this 200, and we tested that 200, bounced off it, tested it again, bounced down, tested it again, broke it a little bit, and then finally took off. The way I would play this trade out, if, if I missed this move here, and I wasn't able to get in. I see that, you know, we're, we broke this uh, 100, hour, 100 bar moving average. So, yeah, I want to be in the trade long. So what I do is I look at your FIB levels. I try to get back in on a pullback. And if you're looking at your FIB levels, you'll see that you put your FIB in here. And then you'll see that this bounced right off of the 38.2 retracement level. Came down, retraced to the 38.2, and that's where I would get in you got to look at your candlesticks or something to give you an idea and that 38.2 is almost basically right where the uh, 200 hour moving average is 200 bar moving average so I would put my stop a little bit above this um, uh, I would put it actually at the next uh, retracement level which would be my 50 or else you could put it above your 100 your 100 is another level of support okay you see it came down what it hit 38.2 that's the level that I really look at to get back in 38.2 bounce back down now sometime markets don't always hit 38.2 so I'm not telling you that you can look at an area though you're looking at areas where there can be something happening I look at I call it like decision making areas so this is an area this is an area this is an area right here 61.8 50 percent these are areas that you're looking at something to happen in the market and if it doesn't happen then again your analysis is wrong so you have to uh, get out but um, I'm gonna remove this fib and show you now if you got out you didn't get in put if you didn't get in look at this again here's what happens you go to this neck that swing high again and this swing low Where's the market go to? 38.2, just a little bit above 38.2. Once again, you could get back in the market. You put a stop loss a little bit above this 50% level because your first level that it returned at was um, 38.2. So your stop's up here. What are you risking on that? You're risking about 27 pips, not too much. Okay, so you bounced off of here and you came down you're following this 100 bar moving average let's get rid of that
Okay, you followed that 100 bar moving average. You followed that 100 bar moving average down. There was no need for you to gather the trade until you saw something changing. What changed? Well, we hit the 100 bar moving average and here we broke it. So maybe we got nervous and got out of the trade. But the trade still continued down for a little bit more. But you're, you're good here. You're out. You see this is like a support level. You see the market started tr uh, ranging and uh, getting into a little range a little bit. So here's your levels right here. Look like the market started uh, doing a little rangy motion. So yeah, you got out. If you got out, you come back to this area here and you look and you'll see we're back up to that 100 bar moving average. Now here's something that I learned from Greg. Inside here, you're trading in between the goal posts. He calls this because you're between these two posts like area, which would be your 100 bar and your 200 bar. So when you're in here together, Two's company, three's a crowd. Somebody's got to go. The two moving averages are friend, are friends, and price is not a friend of the moving averages. So price is out of there. Price takes off. Price is gone. It breaks this. It, here's our trigger. We get in, and here's our uh, confirmation. We broke the 200, and there was a big move here. Some news or something happened here, so that made that move even bigger. And then the market uh, tried to correct itself, came back here. Now you see you're sitting on this hundred. Um, bar moving average you tested this boom 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 couple tests boom boom so there's no need for you to worry about this trade right now or get in this is confirming to you that this is strong level of support right here right where this moving average is because it's bouncing off it and it can't break it okay and if you put your support and resistance lines in you can see once again right here that level lines right up with this 200 with this 100 bar moving average basically you got support and resistance in that area so yeah that's how I look at the uh, market and that's how I trade the moving average based on the way that Greg has uh, described it you can learn more by going to their site and there's webinars there where he talks about it and in his book he really talks about it a lot so you won't find this anywhere else but in his book about trading between the goalposts and I'm not able to explain it as well as him and you know but I trade it because I learned it and back tested it and followed it followed him for a while um, let's go to another chart and just look at it real quick okay you see right here same thing this is a range of motion the, the moving averages are tight together twisting with each other so it's not really a good time to trade but you're looking for an opportunity because when you see the, the market like this what you want to look for is something to happen you're looking anticipating a trend so the moving averages started moving apart a little bit so now if you would have taken this right here you would have got stopped out but you're putting in 10 pip moves you take this again it comes down here you could have probably got out right here and got a small profit or else you got stopped out okay then the market came back tested your hundred and then it came back up and then it tested your hundred and broke it now if you look again in that range here's your support area there's that range area right there and that's your support and resistance area right here okay now once that level broke this uh broke this hundred right here what we do is we put our stop we put our um, order in to get long to get short and uh, we put our stop I will put my stop above this support and resistance area but if it's too much for you put it above this first bar here and if still you can't do that then maybe you shouldn't be in the trade again but as I say you could put a 10 pip stop and then look here you break the 100 and then you break the 200 it tests the 200 for a little while after it tests that 200 it broke it went on down and then the market range for a little while hit the 100 bar moving average it was another chance for you to get uh, short again and went down came back around tested the 100 again another chance for you to get short again boom and then here we go hits the 200 again boom these were all reasons for you to stay in the trade no reason to get out of the trade it didn't break the t uh, 100 so you want to get out if it breaks the 100 and you did get out and then down we come here again we're in the uh, in that goal post area again so you know something's gonna happen so you look for something to happen okay but um, I don't have time to really explain everything the way that Greg would but you can go there and find webinars and learn all about the strategy and I like using it it's real simple and real to the point so other than that uh, I hope it helps somebody out